The sacking of Patrick Vieira is an absolute disgrace and the hiring of Roy Hodgson has Steve Parrish completely lost the plot. Let's go back to July 2021. Theo Patrick Vieira comes to Crystal Palace and there was a lot of excitement in the footballing world. This is guy. a legend of a player yeah. back in the day. This is a man who is hugely respected in football and also one of the few black managers at this level of the game, Theo. And he did a lot of good, didn't he? Tell me ever when a manager you're playing against is getting sung by the home fans. That's what happened at Arsenal versus Crystal Palace when Patrick Vieira played there first. Theo, as soon as he came in, he changed things. Absolutely. Training and discipline. Some of the training sessions were doubled. Discipline was brought in. If you were a second lay for training, you weren't You're playing getting a that day. And look at the improvement of the likes of Eze and Elise last season. Incredible. They went from talents in the championship, one at Reading, one at QPR, looking to break through. They got that contract to Crystal Palace. And it was Patrick Vieira who had his arm around them and said, look, lads, I'm going to get you in that first team. I'm going to make you look like a Premier League player. You are going to improve. I'm going to put you on that next level. He gave them that pedestal. And I think it's so incredible what he did. And the fact that the football club haven't offered him what he deserves back is a disgrace, but carry on. That is true. You mentioned Michael Alise. One of the reasons he came from Reading to Crystal Palace was because of Patrick Vieira. Yeah, absolutely. So for me, Theo, this Vieira project was transformational. It was yeah. evolutional. It was all about the long term. It was all about looking forward five years and saying, we need to make this club younger and better. And I, and I wonder, not just the managerial position, I look at the scouts, I look at the recruitment team, what are you doing still playing Joel Ward and Nathaniel Klein in a Premier League fullback position? Clearly the problem outlies in different areas of the teams. How are you still getting away with this? And you're blaming it on the manager? The, the, the 46 year old who's been very good at different clubs, broke through, got you to a cup semi-final last year, mm. brought the club together, I think the problem lies on the pitch. I think it lies within the squad. Yeah, you make a good point because last season at Crystal Palace was probably the best season for them in the Premier League. They had a positive goal difference for the first time. Exactly. Ever. They looked good, didn't they, Theo? Yeah. Things were going in the right direction. But we have to admit, this season, things have got a little bit wrong. Absolutely. I mean, the but last 11 or 12 games, 2023, no wins. There's clearly been a problem in the first half of the season. In January, we saw a lack of investment. We knew that Eduard Mateta, none of them are motivated enough to score goals like they've done in previous years. Where was the new striker ball? Yes. There wasn't. The Ayu brothers are not good enough to play in the Premier League. How many Crystal Palace fans have their eyes bleeding watching Jordan Ayu every week? The guy's good at running, but he doesn't have anything else. You've got to bring in new talent and let them push. Someone like Victor Gyokerez from the Championship, available. If you pay him the cash, you make the move happen. They step up to the Premier League. They're young and they're hungry. That never happened. So I don't blame Vieira. I I blame the recruitment. I blame Dougie Friedman. I blame the people that should be making these signings and helping Palace improve because we've seen a lot of investment into the academies over recent years and that's something Vieira always stood for and they will see a lot of talent break through. But the problem is now because they sit just four points from the relegation zone and that is scarily close. Now, I, I would have loved to see Vieira had time over the international break to turn it around. What about you? I agree. I think you make a very good point about recruitment because Conor Gallagher was key last yeah, season. Yeah, and then they didn't he replace him. He wasn't replaced. And by the way, ben Conor Gallagher was only turned around, you know, before, Conor, before he went to Crystal Palace, he was at Charlton in the championship. He was decent, but nothing special. Like, they, he was a standout player. But what Vieira did in a year to turn him into a, a, a special talent. The way we looked at Conor Gallagher from the first moment he joined Palace to the last, it's a double double the player. I agree. Also, we have to mention Christian Benteke. He left there, he was being a good servant to the club. He wasn't really replaced. Of course, Odson Edouard, we thought he'd be the great hope. Yeah. It didn't really work out. So you could point at the board, couldn't you? You could point at recruitment and say, really, it's not Vieira's fault. But we have to admit, Crystal Palace recently have been woeful. Up front, they had three games in a row without a single shot they were on awful. target. But you saw the first game after Patrick Vieira was sacked. How did they look? Did the players look down? Because they got smashed by Arsenal that day. They got smashed by a very good team. Yeah. Now, in the build-up to the game, Joachim Anderson got injured, which was counts that, against that's them. Massive. That's their best centre-back. Do you know, it? Palace, for five or ten minutes, looked all right. Zaha hit the post. If that ball goes in off Ramsdale, yeah. off his back, then it's a different game. They were smashed by a good team. Now, you have to look back at the last 11 games, of which there have been no wins. Yeah. I think they've all been against top-half clubs. And I'll be honest with you, Dad. I, I think they would have had a better chance with Patrick Vieira. If you look at the head-to-head -head between Arsenal and Crystal Palace, they always get a result there. I don't think the players... I think the players are in the dressing room. They're looking around and thinking, why has Vieira been sacked? I actually think international breaks are a great time for managers to turn around difficult levels of form. And I don't know if you're a CPFC fan and you agree with me, 
but he could have used that time to get the players together and build tactics, let uh, injured players come back into the team. It would have been key to bring back a squad and push to get out of that relegation scrap and into a usual spot, mid-table, and then in the summer, they can actually recruit properly, which they haven't done. That would have been the plan for me with Crystal Palace if I was to suggest anything. Not sack him and bring in the absolute dinosaur that is Roy Hodgson, Dad. Well, Watford let's... fans hated him last year. First of all, Phil, let's say the data people, they look at Crystal Palace's remaining fixes. Yeah, they yeah. say there's a 10% chance of Crystal Palace going down, 90% chance of them staying up. Now, they've brought in Roy Hodgson, Theo. Now, he's been a manager for 47 years, 24 different clubs, has only been relegated once. I'm not so happy. let's be clear here. There's only yeah. one reason the board have done this. I think they've panicked. It's all about preventing relegation. But it is retrograde. It is looking back. It is going back. Dad, looking at a 75-year-old with 286 days to his name, the oldest manager, breaking a record, that's for sure. But it'll be the only achievement he has with Crystal Palace. I'll tell you that right now. That record he broke by himself when he was at Watford. Guess what he did at Watford? He got them relegated. Dad, you're telling me that Zaha, Elise, Eze are going to walk into that dressing room after seeing the absolute man-mountain and like legend of Patrick Vieira. And in walks... A 75, nearly 76 year old. I think the rehirement of him is just absolutely bonkers. Let that me, club, that club is one of the best academies. They've had so much investment in their training ground. They are looking forward. Why in this manager spot are they looking backwards? He's all about a defensive structure. He's not about attacking. He's all about solidity, rigidity in defence. He's all about players knowing exactly what they should do. It's all about shape. I understand to him. that, but I think the game has moved on since he's last been a manager. And he can't keep up with that. I'm trying to make a point here. The game is now outdated for what Roy Hodgson knows. And I'll be honest, I think Steve Parrish went to his recent calls, picked up the first number that he knows and said, you know what, Roy, let's give you 10 games and see how it goes. He should have been on the, on the edge looking for the next manager in different leagues who's doing something cool. For example, what Tony Bloom did at Brighton, finding Roberto De Zerbi. And I don't think it's going to work. I'm yeah. just being completely honest from a football yeah. head. Theo, I think the manager of Crystal Palace today should be Patrick Vieira. Yeah, I completely now, agree. If you don't allow managers to make mistakes and to have a bad run of games and to actually, you know, go into a relegation fight and get out of it. Yeah. There are eight or nine teams in a relegation fight. What, are we going to sack all eight or nine managers? Is that what we're going to do? I know that if Roy Hodgson does get a few wins on board and you're stuck with him for another year, all the fans are going to be moaning and groaning next year when he's playing average football and you're just about 15th. Palace were in a cup semi-final last year. And that's what's so heartbreaking for all you Palace fans out there. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Do you agree with us or are we talking complete nonsense? It's your opinion. You can say whatever you like. I hope you enjoy the Thogden React channel. Subscribe for more. Smash the like button. And good luck to Palace for the rest of the season. It could be a pretty bad route from now on. Who knows? Who knows? See you later. Bye-bye.